My name is Roy March and I am a SOPO certified architect for SOPO's Platinum Partner Cyber 83 and today I'm going to be showcasing and unboxing this bad boy, the XGS 5500. So here it is, the XGS5500, promoted as the logical upgrade path to the XG550. This UTM can apparently outperform the XG750 flagship model from the previous generation according to its technical specifications. So what's new in this new XGS lineup? This new generation of firewall is dubbed the Sophos firewall and comes packed with some new and exciting features which enable these devices to outperform the previous generation significantly and also future-proof your network security. So the first thing that this device contains is a dual CPU architecture. The first CPU is a powerhouse content processor which is a multi-core AMD processor which handles routing, connection management, deep packet inspection as well as transport layer security inspection. And this is quite a big deal as AMD currently offers some of the best performing multi-threading CPU architectures on the market. And the second processor is a network processing unit named the Xtreme Flow Processor by Sophos, which is a software programmable Marvel NPU, which will accelerate trusted application traffic as well as boost transport layer security inspection using what Sophos is calling the Xtreme Hardware Fast Path. Now, this software programmable Xtreme Flow Processor enables Sophos to offload more functions in the future via firmware update as opposed to requiring any hardware changes or firewall updates like you'd see in many ASIC systems. And Sophos most likely opted for this architecture instead of say an ASIC architecture so that the management and data planes will be segregated for greater control and availability. So let's take a look at how the hardware fast path actually works. It works in three stages and let's take this webcast stream for example, go to webinar or any other streaming or VoIP traffic application and take them through these stages. In the first stage, any initial packets received would go through the slow path, traversing the firewall stack, the DPI engine and then finally the extreme flow processor. After the initial few packets have been scanned, the second phase would offload packets through the fast path to the DPI engine and then to the Xtreme Flow processor. This frees up the firewall stack to handle new connections and this will significantly lower latency and improve performance. However, if the stream is considered secure or no longer requires further inspection either due to the policies that you've added to the firewall or because traffic matches trusted signatures from Sophos Labs, then the network flow fast path will then accelerate traffic through the system at ultra low latency. This will dramatically increase performance by freeing up resources at higher stages from having to inspect traffic that no longer requires it. Now, these models come with an improved modular design as well. The new Sophos firewall comes with better default interfaces as well as improved FlexiPort base for increased connectivity. And some modules even come with GBE power over Ethernet ports built in as well as SFP plus fiber modules by default without you even needing to purchase and input any additional FlexiPort modules. Now, this has showed us that Sophos has upped their game, recognizing that interfaces are evolving and the need for higher throughput and future proofing in a network environment is extremely important. Let's take a look at the optional FlexiPort modules that are available for the XGS series of firewalls. These are separated into three categories for the rack mounted XGS models. The first category encompasses FlexiPort modules available for all of the XGS rack mounted models, and these include an 8 port 1 gigabit copper module, an 8 port 1 gigabit SFP fiber module, a 4 port 1 gigabit copper bypass module, which has two bypass pairs, and a 4 port 10 gigabit SFP plus fiber module. The second category is only available on the 2000, 3000 and 4000 XGS series of firewalls and includes a 4 port 2.5 gigabit copper power over ethernet module and an 8 port 1 gigabit copper module with 4 ports being capable of power over ethernet. 
The final category is only available for the XGS 5500 and 6500 firewalls and includes an 8 port 10 gigabit SFP plus fiber module, a 2 port 40 gigabit QSFP plus fiber module and finally the module I have here with me and will shortly insert into the XGS 5500, a 16 port high density FlexiPort module or network interface card that includes 12 1 gigabit copper ports as well as 4 2.5 gigabit copper ports. Now, let's have a look at how quick and easy it is to actually replace these FlexiPort modules in a nice short clip. It's really as simple as unscrewing the FlexiPort module and sliding in the new module. It clips in quite like inserting a card. Looking at the interfaces, we can already see some major changes compared to the previous generation. Unlike the previous generation of XG Firewall, where the included interfaces were hot swappable, Sophos has decided to include fixed interfaces on the Sophos XGS series. By default, this model of the XGS 5500 comes with 8 gigabit Ethernet copper ports with two bypass pairs at ports 1 and 2, as well as ports 3 and 4, as well as 8 enhanced small form factor pluggable or SFP plus 10 gigabit fiber ports. This alone is a huge step up from the previous generation as it includes interfaces for high speed fiber where not even the previous flagship XG750 included such interfaces. This firewall includes FlexiPort modules. It should however be noted that the XGS or the XGS Sophos firewall FlexiPort modules will not be compatible with the previous generation XG FlexiPort modules. The XGS 5500 model contains two FlexiPort expansion bays as well as one new high density expansion bay which you'll note here already has the high density module inserted. Other interfaces that you notice on here is that there is an LCD screen which will be used when the box is on to display information such as interfaces that are up and down, factory reset or just simple reboot. On the left here you'll see that the model is included as well. There is a console port in RJ45 format, a console port in micro USB format, two USB 3.0 interfaces, as well as a RJ45 management interface. On the left here, you'll notice that there are LED indicators. And this is the front of the firewall. I'm going to swap this around and look at the back. Here we have the back of the box. While the fans are no longer hot swappable, they are covered by a plate which is held together by four screws. This plate is for optimized airflow and pushes air out the back of the UTM. Here we have our green ESD grounding point which is used to ground it in terms of electrostatic discharge. Beneath that we have our two chassis grounding connections. Next to those we have our power switch and finally we have our two hot swappable redundant power supplies. These are relatively easy to take out. So you'd simply pinch together the green panel and then it would slide out quite easily as you'll see here. These are 80 watt platinum power supplies and are quite sturdy. They're really good and they are a good choice by Sophos. And to put it back in, it's relatively simple. You literally just push it back until it clicks into place. Let's do a comparison between the XG550 and the XGS5500. Firewall throughput has increased from 75 gigabits per second on the XG550 to 100 gigabits per second on the XGS5500. Now, this is a 33% performance increase in firewall throughput. Firewall IMAX has increased from 34 gigabits per second to 52 gigabits per second, which is a nice 53% boost. And thanks to the new Xtreme Flow processor, Xtreme SSL decryption and threat protection throughput has increased by 12.5 times versus the previous generation, from 1 gigabit per second on the XG550 to a crazy 13.5 gigabits per second on the XGS5500. Now this is where the new generation really begins to shine with that Xtreme Flow processor. Intrusion prevention and general threat protection throughput have more than doubled with an increase from 17 gigabits per second to 40 gigabits per second on IPS throughput. And an increase from 6 gigabits per second to 12.39 gigabits per second for general threat protection throughput. Concurrent connections handled by the firewall has also more than doubled from 15.7 million concurrent connections on the XG550 to a 32.4 million concurrent connection spec on the XGS5500. And the new XGS5500 can handle 119% more new connections at 468,000 new connections per second versus only 213,800 connections per second on the XG550. IPsec 
VPN throughput has also increased by over 150%, with the new firewall handling 21.6 gigabits per second of IPsec VPN throughput versus the XG550's 8.5 gigabits per second. Finally, the concurrent Xtreme SSL connections handled by the XGS5500 have increased by exactly 150% versus the XG550 from 204,800 to 512,000 concurrent Xtreme SSL connections. Comparing the XGS5500 to the previous flagship, the XG750, you'll see that firewall throughput and concurrent Xtreme SSL connections have remained the same in terms of performance. However, in every single other area, the XGS5500 outperforms the XG750 with Xtreme SSL decryption and threat protection throughput alone increasing by 864% thanks to the new Xtreme Flow processor. So let's talk about the licensing on this new XGS series of firewalls. Now, this new XGS series of firewalls includes new license bundles which will also apply to previous generation XG firewalls or SG firewalls provided that they're running the SFOS software. Now, the individual licenses have remained more or less the same and can still be purchased in one, two or three year variants depending on your region. You can also purchase licenses for schools as EDU licenses or governmental organizations as GOV licenses. Now, I'm just going to give you a quick overview on each of the individual licenses as a refresher. So let's look at the individual licenses provided with the standard protection bundle for starters. The first license which is provided with pretty much every hardware and virtual firewall offering by Sophos is the base license which includes of course your basic networking capabilities, wireless functionality on wireless capable firewalls, the new Xtreme architecture on the XGS firewalls, unlimited remote access VPNs and of course site to site VPN capabilities. Then we have our network protection license which includes a Xtreme TLS and DPI engine which would scan for anything going through the network protection system. It also includes your intrusion prevention, advanced threat protection, security heartbeat and SD RED VPN capabilities for the Sophos RED devices. The web protection license included in the standard protection bundle also offers the Xtreme TLS and DPI engine to scan all web traffic and includes web security and control as well as application control. And finally we have our enhanced support which includes 24-7 support, any feature updates which come out for our Sophos as well as advanced replacement hardware for the warranty term that you have. The next licensing bundle provided by Sophos is the Xtreme Protection Bundle, which includes all the licenses provided by the standard protection bundle. But in addition to these, you also have the all new central orchestration license, which allows you to have SD-WAN VPN orchestration through Sophos Central to rapidly and easily deploy any SD-WAN network using a Sophos firewall or a Sophos SD RED device. This is a new and exciting feature which will save you hours of time setting up your network. The next feature provided with central orchestration is the central firewall advanced reporting capabilities which is provided for 30 days. Now this will supposedly give you a lot more insight into what's happening on your firewalls through Sophos Central. And finally this will allow you to be managed threat response and extreme detection response ready. And finally the last license included with the extreme protection bundle in addition to central orchestration is your zero day protection license. Now zero day protection is considered a replacement for Sophos Sandstorm and of course includes your machine learning capabilities as well as sandboxing and file analysis. And finally, the last bundle provided by Sophos is the EPIC Protection Licensing Bundle. Now, this licensing bundle includes all the licenses provided by the Extreme Protection Bundle, but includes two other licenses, which are the Web Server Protection License, which includes your web application firewall capabilities, as well as your email protection license, which includes anti-spam capabilities, antivirus capabilities, data loss prevention, as well as encryption for your emails. Now, all of these licenses can be purchased individually, which means that while Sophos offers these three licensing bundles to cater for certain business requirements, if you only need specified licenses to cater for whatever your business requires, you can purchase them individually as opposed to just getting them in a bundle. Moving on to the price. I opted to do a comparison between the firewalls using the three-year hardware bundle offerings for both the standard and extreme protection bundles at the estimated MSRP. I'm using the three-year hardware bundle offerings because I find that most enterprises and customers go for the three-year licenses as opposed to the one or five-year licenses. Now, these bundles include the firewall as well as the licenses included in the respective bundles. 
Looking at the 3 year standard protection hardware bundle, the XG550 will cost you plus minus $34,000 where the XG750 will cost you plus minus $52,200 and the XGS5500 will cost slightly more than the XG750 at around $54,410, which I find significantly more expensive than the XG550. Moving on to the Xtreme Hardware Protection Bundle for three years, the XGS5500 comes in at plus minus $69,000, which is cheaper than the XG750, which will cost you $73,100, but is more expensive than the same hardware bundle offered with the XG550 at plus minus $47,600. And while the pricing seems to be quite hefty, it should be noted that the performance of the XGS5500 is leagues ahead of the XG550 and also quite ahead of the XG750 itself. So the price for performance is actually well positioned by Sophos. And while Sophos has indicated that the XGS5500 is the upgrade path to the XG550, I find that it's more of an upgrade to the XG650 and 750 and you could probably get away with upgrading to a lower end XGS model to upgrade or replace your XG550. What are my final thoughts? The XGS 5500 and the XGS lineup as a whole offers incredible value for money. I find that the costing is quite reasonable and the performance is extraordinary considering what you're paying for. Whether you're looking to upgrade from a Sophos SG UTM or a Sophos XG Firewall, or even considering replacing another solution with Sophos for the first time, I reckon it's a solid choice. The Marvel Network Processing Unit being software programmable is a strong new feature that will allow you to future-proof your purchase, and it's actually what I'm most excited about. The new licensing model makes sense, I find it far easier to navigate than what was previously offered and the advanced central firewall reporting and SD-WAN features offered by the orchestration license I reckon will make compliance and management far easier in a Sophos synchronized security environment. So a big thumbs up to Sophos for the step up in the SD-WAN space. Finally, I'd like to say thank you to Sophos and in particular the Sophos South African team for shipping out this XGS 5500 and giving me the opportunity to showcase this new generation of firewall. Even from a support perspective, the South African Sophos team has been epic and I'd just like to say thank you for everything that you guys have done. A big shout out to Cyber83 for allowing me to be the one to showcase this firewall in this video. And thank you, the viewers, for watching this video. And if you'd like to see more about this, you can see more about the firewalls at sophos.com or you can visit cyber83.com to have a quote.